good day. Welcome to my vlog. Today we have a couple projects we're going to do. One of which I think is going to be very helpful. Uh, one of which is a uh, service oil change and such for a Toyota Sienna. I believe it's a 2016 Toyota Sienna. So stay tuned for that. Um, we also are going to start ripping apart another steering column today. How exciting, right? So stay tuned for that. Here we go. All right, guys, this is a 2015, I said it wrong the first time, 2015 Toyota Sienna. And we're gonna be doing servicing on this vehicle today. So we're gonna do tire rotation, whoop, whoop. So switch them to the back, we're gonna be changing the fluids and checking uh, the extra fluids, as well as gr greasing serviceable um, grease certs. If we could find any. So I wanted to start out by showing you where everything is. So that's very important. I'm not going to actually show you um, me checking everything here. But this, we're just, we're just going to start from the right here and work our way around. That's how I usually like to do it to make sure I don't miss anything. So that's what we're going to do. So up here in the right hand corner, as you can see, is the brake fluid. We're in a good spot. You have your battery right here. Um, we have a serv serviceable battery. Uh, the the air filter is right here. We'll go ahead and take that out. Um, you flip the, the uh, latches here, and it just slides a little bit and then pulls out. Once you have that assembly out, as you can see, it already started falling out, but it just comes right out. So we'll go ahead and set that aside here. As we move our way um, down the vehicle, as you can see here, we have our coolant. I've already checked that. Uh, careful, as always, not to check it when it's hot. You will have an unpleasant surprise. Um, not very fun. Um, as we continue to move down, we will the, the dipstick for the, the engines here. Uh, the transmission is an unserviceable tra serviceable transmission, which is a bummer. I don't really like that function, but whatever. Your washer fluid and then your oil fill position is right there. So those are the different things under the hood here um, that I wanted to show you. Uh, I believe power steering is also unserviceable, but I'm going to have to check on that. I'll get back with you later. And then one more thing I want to check or show you guys. Um, sort of a pain to get to the, the cabin air filter, the filter that needs to be changed on a regular basis. To get to the cabin air filter, sort of hard to see right now um, with everything that's in here. But I will try to show it. Um, right here, you have your, your glove compartment, attaches here on the bottom. These clips just pulls off but before you do that this uh, shock on the side here uh, makes it so it lowers slowly that unclips from that spot right there you get that undone and then you pop these out and the whole assembly comes off once you get to that point you look up here what you'll see is you'll see this You'll see this up there. It says up. And on the sides, these clasps, you just squeeze them to the center. Both sides are the same. Squeeze both sides and pull it out. And it comes out. And then you can have access to the cabin air filter, which we will change. It is nice and dirty. Um, whoa, I just dumped a bunch of sand on the ground. Let's leave that there. So that's your cabin air filter. And I just made a huge mess, but I'll clean that up in a second. Anyway, those are the different spots on the top of the vehicle. Uh, we'll continue to show you as we get underneath the vehicle exactly, exactly where the drain plug is and the filter is for the oil change, as well as any serviceable grease certs, which I'm not, I'm not actually expecting to find any um, personally. If we do, we will grease them. All right. So part of my checks here when I'm servicing the vehicle and I'm rotating the tires is I'm checking the brakes. And uh, 
Brakes are very simple, very easy to check on this, at least in the front so far. I'll show you in the back in a second. Um, but I'm guessing they're basically the same. Four-wheel disc brakes. Um, I actually am not positive on the rear brakes, but we'll, we'll get there in a second. Um, there's just two 14 millimeter uh, bolts here. Come out from the, uh, the mounting brackets there, and this slides off, and you have a great view of the, uh, the pads themselves. So, very simple to check the brakes here, too. And as I'm coming in here, my, let's look, let me make sure you can see what I'm looking at. Um, looking for any zerts, grease zerts, and I'm not finding any grease zerts, um, which means most of this stuff is not serviceable. So, I'll we'll keep you updated. I'll show you the back brakes in just a second. Here we go. I forgot to let you guys see the rear brakes. Uh, the rear brakes are a little different. They have drum brakes inside to, uh, to allow for the parking brake. And then disc brakes also. It's the same size, 14 millimeter socket to get the, the, the calipers off. Real simple. Um, that's, that's really it. So here we go. All right, I wanted to let you know what you'll need to do this job. So what we're gonna replace is the, uh, the oil filter and the air filter here. Um, the cabin air filter, I didn't have in my cupboard. I did not have in stock, so I'm gonna have to order that. But I'll give you the part number just, just so uh, you have everything you need to do this job. Uh, the part number is for, um, First, the, the air filter is 49430. That's the uh, air filter, 49430. Um, the engine oil filter is 57145. And the, the cabin air filter is 24483. 24483. That is the, the numbers for those. Those parts, hope that's helpful. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this this, this uh, oil change started. All right, we got the uh, Sienna up on the lift, on the lift, on the, on the pit here. A couple things I need to mention. First off, the first number that I gave you for oil filter was wrong. 57145 is incorrect. The correct one is five. 7047. 57047. Uh, they must have gone through some updates um, in the last couple years. Because it's a canister. Right there. Right there. Is the uh, oil filter housing. Drain plug's just sitting right at the back. Easy place to get to. So this shouldn't be a hard change at all. So we'll go ahead and let you watch. Here we go. fill the oil drain uh, well oil filter is like so you start off with this piece in here what they tell you to do is take this piece out and then ram this plastic piece piece onto here and that drains the uh, filter housing this usually comes off with that plug um, I'll have to replace this and then this whole housing comes off and that's where the, the oil filter actually goes so you take this out press this in it all drains out that tube right there and then you take the cover off the cover is a little bit hard to get off because all you have is these two points here I used a, a punch 
and punched on this side and to twist off. It didn't do any damage. Maybe a little bit of a nick, but that's okay. Um, so then we're just going to have to replace these these O-rings and uh, reinsert. So that's how that works. to do one last check here of the uh, engine oil level. And already popped it inside. You come certainly gotta get the correct hand in here. Um, sort of uh, just slightly as you're looking at the car right of center. It's a little latch there. You can see it right there. Um, forgive the awkward camera angle for a second. And now Okay, so, dipstick right there, stick my rag down, clean off the dipstick, we'll see where she is now that she's warm. Halfway. Let's do that one more time. Yep. We're going to put some more oil in her. Well, that's actually... I'm just going to leave you guys there. You guys know where the oil goes. It goes right in here. But we're going to conclude the video right there. So, I didn't have a chance to get to the uh, steering column on the Ford pickup because I was um, stopped by a bunch of things today. But we did get this finished, which is nice. Um, all the servicing. So it's all set now. Um, I hope this, this, this uh, video was helpful. Um, this is a relatively new vehicle. Maybe something that someone's never serviced before. This is the first service um, since warranty uh, for us. So there's like 36,000 miles. I forget exactly how long the warranty goes. But um, did the oil change all the filter checks and check underneath the vehicle for anything 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 wrong so that's what we did today hope you enjoyed it hopefully hopefully it was helpful um, if you liked it give it a thumbs up and uh, if you want more videos like this and uh, more in the life of a uh, in the auto shop here uh, please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching have a great day